And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Matt Holliner. 42 this morning and tropical depression Gordon is still out there. Uh, it's over Little Rock right now. Now notice the winds 10 miles per hour. There has been no wind damage since eastern Mississippi, but there has been flash flooding in western Mississippi and in parts of Arkansas. Now we're not seeing too many pockets of heavy rain this morning, but we think that's going to change later today. We saw yesterday the rain got enhanced with the daytime heating. We think that's going to happen again today. Also, what we think happens today is that we're not going to technically be talking about Gordon as a separate entity anymore. Gordon, which is here in central Arkansas, is going to merge with this cold front that you can see draped uh, across the country and not moving very fast. So Gordon is going to just merge with the cold front and is basically going to enhance rainfall out that cold front. So we're going to talk about flash flooding in Arkansas today and then through the weekend in parts of Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, as Gordon kind of rides the front through there and just round after round of rain. The front actually does drape down into Texas right now. You can see it right there. Uh, we are not going to see that cold front get here, but the air mass over us is unstable. Uh, so though rain chances are lower than yesterday, uh, they're not zero. Now early this morning, some light fog in parts of the valley, particularly around the Harlingen, Raymondville, Westlaco area. W west and east of there, going to be really difficult to see any fog. And we're not worried about dense fog, but just some light fog around. Only in the early morning. Now by 11 a.m., fog is gone, but the rain chances start to go up. Now not as much as yesterday, but uh, we're talking about scattered showers and storms. Uh, at any given time, uh, you can call it isolated action. Activity, but you add it all up and you can call it scattered showers and storms. Two o'clock this afternoon. Notice that there's more rain in Cameron and Willisey County today than as you go west. Uh, less rain out in Star County. Still can't roll out a couple showers around five, six, seven o'clock, but all the models kind of hinting that eight o'clock is the time where uh, the clouds break up. It'll be partly cloudy, so most of high school football tonight is actually looking pretty good. Now, tomorrow, I think we're going to see less rain. I think there's going to be a little bit more sun as well. Look at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Not as much rain is showing up at 11 a.m. today. Day. And that's kind of the story at all time periods yesterday. Yes, there's still going to be some rain around, uh, but not much. Uh, isolated storms. Uh, we'll go with a 30% chance of rain tomorrow, and I think everything will die down even quicker. I think by 7 o'clock, everyone is going to be dry tomorrow. Uh, so today, a 40% chance of rain overall, partly to mostly cloudy skies, highs around 93. So warmer than yesterday, but uh, temperatures that are pretty reasonable for this time of year. Our normal high is 94. We're actually technically a degree below that. A little bit of a breeze out there. Uh, how is high school football looking? this evening actually pretty good again. Yeah, they're gonna be a couple showers around. I think at seven o'clock, but I think most of the games are going to be dry. Temperatures will be around 87 by the end of the game. Everyone will be dry. There won't be any showers in the valley. It'll be partly cloudy and temperatures then will be around 82 degrees uh, tonight. Overnight, we're talking about partly cloudy skies and lows eventually getting to around 77 does look pretty muggy. Uh, that humidity uh, that isn't going away because that cold front not coming here. However, it looks like uh, though the front fizzles out a little broad area of low pressure is going to be working into the area and will enhance rain chances starting Sunday. Rain chances drop tomorrow, only a 30% chance. And during the day Sunday, a 40% chance of rain. But Sunday night into Monday, that's kind of looking like our best chance of rain. I think Monday could end up being a repeat of what we saw yesterday. Yesterday, our highs were in the upper 80s. And I think that's going to happen again on Monday with scattered showers and thunderstorms looking likely. After Monday, rain chances do drop. 40% chances for Tuesday, Wednesday, 30% chance on Thursday, but the rain chance is still there every day on the seven day forecast. And in general, that's going to keep temperatures normal for this time of year or even a little bit below normal. Uh, that's a welcome change after all those days with above normal temperatures.